All right, you're still watching Business Define. Now, in our conversation today, we want to focus on an event that is scheduled for the 23rd of October. That is this coming month. That is the Excellence in Financial Reporting Award. It is, uh, of course, an initiative by the Nairobi Securities Exchange, the Capital Markets Authority, and the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya. So I want to know what, is ex what exactly is the award about and what you as a company, as a firm, as a circle can do to participate in this uh, particular Word. Now, joining me in studio is the Head of Market and uh, Product Development at the Nairobi Securities Exchange, Donald Owuma, be giving us an insight into what um, the whole award is all about. Thank now, you. Uh, uh, thank you for coming through to Business Defined today, uh, Donald. Now, 13 years of existence in the East African uh, region, what did you see is a major impact this particular award has had uh, in the markets? I think the awards, as you've said, have been in existence for the last 13 years. Mm -hmm. They're promoted by the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya, the Nairobi Securities Exchange, and the Capital Markets Authority. Exactly. And what we're trying to do is enhance transparency, accountability, essentially communicate to your stakeholders, whether they're shareholders, whether they're regul regulators, whether they're the people that you sell your products to, what you are doing as a firm. Mm -hmm. So I think what you've noticed in the last 13 years is the companies are, pro are reporting better accounts. So year in, year out, the accountability, the transparency, how they're reporting is much better. All right. And what we're now trying to do is expand the use of financial reporting to include reporting in terms of corporate governance mm -hmm. and what you're doing in terms of the environment. So what you're doing in terms of your corporate social environment and your impact on the environment and the communities in which you work. All right. Now, year in, year out, uh, 13 years, what do you evaluate uh, Kenyan companies in regards to their compliance uh, to what you, what, you, what you term is sound uh, corporate governance and, of course, their willingness to participate in this particular award? Um, so the, the, we have three um, categories. We essentially evaluate the firm in terms of financial reporting, corporate governance and corporate social um, investment. Yes. We have an independent panel of, of technical, a technical team that receives the audited accounts of the firms who submit mm -hmm. the accounts. It's voluntary. And then these accounts are looked at twice. So there's a first level evaluation, a second level evaluation, and then there's a panel of judges. Um, the chief judge is Dr. James McPhee. Um, we also have the, the Mr. Mumo Kivuitu, who evaluates uh, the issues to do with uh, uh, corporate social responsibility, right. and Mr. Job Kihumba, who evaluates issues to do with corporate governance. All right, so are you seeing Kenyan farms then embracing all, all those, the three issues that you just mentioned? Exactly. Uh -huh. So as I said before, um, we, on, on a regular basis, on a, so we have a conference, we, uh, we're having our third conference this year, on an annual basis for the last 13 years, we've had the gala dinner and award ceremony. Mm -hmm. And at the award ceremony and gala dinner, we recognize in the different categories the best companies in terms of the winner, the first runner-up, and the second runner-up. Mm -hmm. And the judges have noticed over the years that reporting is much better because one of the value additions we add is even if you are not a winner, every company that submits its um, audited accounts and financial statements gets a confidential feedback from the, from the evaluation committee mm -hmm. on the challenges we have noticed in your accounts, where you have improved that, and we try and make sure you get this feedback before you start working on your next set of accounts. All right. So we notice a continuous improvement in terms of, of the awards. Again, this is an East African award, so we're also getting entries from Uganda, mm -hmm. Tanzania, and Rwanda as well. Donald, uh, I don't know, really. Uh, the, the question here is, you advocate for, for a prudent financial reporting and accountability. Mm -hmm. Then uh, throughout the 13 years, you would know about the increase or the decrease of participation in these particular words uh, from the Kenyan companies. Are you witnessing an increase of participants or a decrease? And while at it, are you seeing much interest coming from the public or the private sector? We, we are noticing an increase in participation. Mm -hmm. 
we are also noticing, which is something very good for us, an, 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 in, an interest from companies or entities in the public sector. Mm -hmm. So we're noticing um, a very keen interest from um, um, state-owned corporations, um, um, entities like the Kenya Boards, uh, Kenya Roads Board as well, mm -hmm. have participated in the last two years. The Kenya Roads Board won the, the award in the category of international public sector, uh, public standard accounting. Mm -hmm. um, they won the, the, in that category last year. Um, we have also got an interest from the SACO sector. Mm -hmm. So there's a broad category of, of, of uh, entries that, that participate. We have also got um, entries from the not-for-profit sector. So organizations like the Mata Hospital have participated on, on, a, on a regular basis. And they really benefit from that. Mm -hmm. We've also so you've had seen, basically you've seen uh, an increase of participation from both the uh, the public and the private, and the private sector. sector. Yes, uh, that's interesting. Yes. Yes. Now uh, we are in a time when uh, Kenya is said to be very vibrant when it comes to. Uh, investment opportunities. Mm -hmm. And uh, in line with this year's theme of this particular word, that is uh, enhancing your brand through integrated reporting, what do you intend to do differently, of course, to boost the, the participants' uh, brand? Um, what we are trying to show with the award is the benefits of reporting. Mm -hmm. So we're telling our clients, our participants, that yes, it is important to, to submit your accounts. You're actually communicating to your stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And for investors, for people interested in investing in the region, they want to know if I give you my money, mm -hmm. what are you going to do with it? Exactly. Who is running the firm? So in terms of corporate governance, who is running the firm? Are they credible uh, uh, people? Mm -hmm. um, in terms of corporate social investment, how, do you, how does your business impact on the community? Mm -hmm. How does your brand impact on the community? Mm -hmm. Am I going to be happy to buy um, the goods and services of this company that, that, is, that is working in my community. Because, for example, if you're a mining company, mm -hmm. so you're using the resources in that community to remove oil out of the ground. How does that impact on me as a person who is from that area? Mm -hmm. So we are showing them that the communicating that financial reporting is an issue of communicating to all your stakeholders. All right. And that's the benefits of, so just a matter of, um, of disclosing, but it's actually an issue of communicating. And the better you communicate, the better you enhance your brand. All right. Uh, my director tells me you're almost uh, short of time. But then again, uh, I know the deadline for participating in, the, uh, in this year's awards already closed yes but uh, probably for any other farm watching you and would be interested to to self participate in the next intake what do they need to do to participate what they just need to do is to submit your audited financial accounts mm -hmm. and f so for next year all you need to make sure is that by end of june june 30th 2015 mm -hmm. you've submitted your latest audited accounts and financial reports Right. Yeah. Uh, as we come to the close, what would you say about Kenya when it comes to companies, of course, complying with the international uh, financial reporting standards? Are we getting there? Are we losing it? What, what is your evaluation on that? I would say that for Kenya, we are certainly the leader in the East African community All right. in terms of reporting in, of financial accounts um, and in terms of compliance with international financial reporting standards. Mm -hmm. However, these standards are continuously changing. We are now moving into integrated reporting. Mm -hmm. And this is something where I would urge our Kenyan companies, our Kenyan firms to look at improving on. Right. Because we are competing for capital for, from, in, from a global market. Mm -hmm. And if we have an edge in terms of reporting, then we attract more investment flows into our economy. All right. Uh, thank you, Donald, a woman, for coming through. And, of course, for the insight. We have been talking uh, to a woman.
Keys from the Nairobi Securities Exchange are sort of giving us an insight into the excellence in financial reporting awards. They are scheduled for the 23rd of October. And there you have it, what you need to do as a firm to participate. And of course, the benefits that come uh, that come with participating in this uh, particular award. Well, let's take a look at our story. team making headlines in the corporate scene. And the National Treasury has unveiled the county budget operational and county internal audit manuals. Now, this is expected to, to, to guide uh, county governments in the budgeting process as well as ensure that the available resources are located are spent efficiently. Now, Cabinet Secretary for National Treasury, Henry Rotic, says this will fast track the devolution process and also support counties in establishing public finance management capacity to deliver on their mandate. Counties have been facing challenges in regard